What is a bug, biologically speaking? The biological meaning of the word bug is significantly more restrictive than in common usage. People often refer to all insects as bugs, even using the word to include such organisms as bacteria and viruses as well as glitches in computer programs. In the strictest biological sense, a bug is a member of the order Hemiptera also called true bugs. Members of Hemiptera include bed bugs, squash bugs, clinch bugs, stink bugs, and water striders. What is a bug, biologically speaking? The biological meaning of the word bug is significantly more restrictive than in common usage. People often refer to all insects as bugs, even using the word to include such organisms as bacteria and viruses as well as glitches in computer programs. In the strictest biological sense, a bug is a member of the order Hemiptera also called true bugs. Members of Hemiptera include bed bugs, squash bugs, clinch bugs, stink bugs, and water striders. What is the largest group of insects that has been identified and classified? The largest group of insects that has been identified and classified is the order Coleoptera. Beetles, weevils, and fireflies, with some 350,000 to 400,000 species. Beetles are the dominant form of life on Earth, as one of every five living species is a beetle. What is the largest group of insects that has been identified and classified? The largest group of insects that has been identified and classified is the order Coleoptera. Beetles, weevils, and fireflies, with some 350,000 to 400,000 species. Beetles are the dominant form of life on Earth, as one of every five living species is a beetle. Which insect has the best sense of smell? Giant male silk moths may have the best sense of smell in the world. They can smell a female's perfume nearly 7 miles, 11 kilometers, away. Which insect has the best sense of smell? Giant male silk moths may have the best sense of smell in the world. They can smell a female's perfume nearly 7 miles, 11 kilometers, away. What are some beneficial insects?
Beneficial insects include bees, wasps, flies, butterflies, moths, and others that pollinate plants. Many fruits and vegetables depend on insect pollinators for the production of seeds. Insects are an important source of food for birds, fish, and many animals. In some countries such insects as termites, caterpillars, ants, and bees are eaten as food by people. Products derived from insects include honey and beeswax, shellac, and silk. Some predators such as mantises, ladybugs, or lady beetles, and lacewings feed on other harmful insects. Other helpful insects are parasites that live on or in the body of harmful insects. For example, some wasps lay their eggs in caterpillars that damage tomato plants. What are some beneficial insects? Beneficial insects include bees, wasps, flies, butterflies, moths, and others that pollinate plants. Many fruits and vegetables depend on insect pollinators for the production of seeds. Insects are an important source of food for birds, fish, and many animals. In some countries such insects as termites, caterpillars, ants, and bees are eaten as food by people. Products derived from insects include honey and beeswax, shellac, and silk. Some predators such as mantises, ladybugs, or lady beetles, and lacewings feed on other harmful insects. Other helpful insects are parasites that live on or in the body of harmful insects. For example, some wasps lay their eggs in caterpillars that damage tomato plants. How is the light in fireflies produced? The light produced by fireflies, fought inus pyroles, or lightning bugs, is a kind of heatless light called bioluminescence. It is caused by a chemical reaction in which the substance luciferin undergoes oxidation when the enzyme luciferase is present. The flash is a photon of visible light that radiates when the oxidating. Chemicals produce a high energy state, which then revert back to their normal state. The flashing is controlled by the nervous system and takes place in special cells called photocytes. The nervous system, photocytes, and the tracheal end organs control the flashing rate. The air temperature also seems to be correlated with the flashing rate. The higher the temperature, the shorter the interval between flashes 8 seconds at 65 degrees Fahrenheit. 18.3 degrees Celsius, and 4 seconds at 82 degrees Fahrenheit 27.7 degrees Celsius. Scientists are uncertain as to why this flashing occurs. The rhythmic flashes could be a means of attracting prey or enabling mating fireflies to signal in heliographic codes that differ from one species to another, or they could serve as a warning signal. How is the light in fireflies produced? The light produced by fireflies, fought inus pyroles, 
or lightning bugs. Is a kind of heatless light called bioluminescence. It is caused by a chemical reaction in which the substance luciferin undergoes oxidation when the enzyme luciferase is present. The flash is a photon of visible light that radiates when the oxidating chemicals produce a high energy state, which then revert back to their normal state. The flashing is controlled by the nervous system and takes place in special cells called photocytes. The nervous system, photocytes, and the tracheal end organs control the flashing rate. The air temperature also seems to be correlated with the flashing rate. The higher the temperature, the shorter the interval between flashes 8 seconds at 65 degrees Fahrenheit. 18.3 degrees Celsius, and 4 seconds at 82 degrees Fahrenheit 27.7 degrees Celsius. Scientists are uncertain as to why this flashing occurs. The rhythmic flashes could be a means of attracting prey or enabling mating fireflies to signal in heliographic codes. That differ from one species to another, or they could serve as a warning signal. What is the most destructive insect in the world? The most destructive insect is the desert locust, Schistosura gregaria. The locust of the Bible, whose habitat ranges from the dry and semi-arid regions of Africa and the Middle East, through Pakistan and northern India. This shorthorn grasshopper can eat its own weight in food a day. And during long migratory flights a large swarm can consume 20,000 tons, 18,144,000 kilograms, of grain and vegetation a day. What is the most destructive insect in the world? The most destructive insect is the desert locust, Schistosura gregaria. The locust of the Bible, whose habitat ranges from the dry and semi-arid regions of Africa and the Middle East, through Pakistan and northern India. This shorthorn grasshopper can eat its own weight in food a day. And during long migratory flights a large swarm can consume 20,000 tons, 18,144,000 kilograms, of grain and vegetation a day. Who introduced the gypsy moth into the United States? In 1869, Professor Leopold Trevelyan. 1827 to 1895, brought gypsy moth egg masses from France to Medford, Massachusetts. His intention was to breed the gypsy moth, Porthetria dispar, with the silkworm to overcome a wilt disease of the silkworm. He placed the egg masses on a window ledge, and evidently the wind blew them away. About ten years later these caterpillars were numerous on trees in that vicinity. And in twenty years, trees in eastern Massachusetts were being defoliated. In 1911, a contaminated plant shipment from Holland also introduced the gypsy moth to Massachusetts. 
gypsy moths are now found throughout the entire northeastern United States and portions of Virginia. North Carolina, Ohio, and Michigan The gypsy moth lays its eggs on the leaves of oaks, birches, maples, and other hardwood trees. When the yellow hairy caterpillars hatch from the eggs, they devour the leaves in such quantities that the tree becomes temporarily defoliated. Sometimes this causes the tree to die. The caterpillars grow from 0.5 inch, 3 millimeters, to about 2 inches, 5.1 centimeters. Before they spin a pupa, in which they will metamorphose into adult moths. Who introduced the gypsy moth into the United States? In 1869, Professor Leopold Trevelyan. 1827 to 1895, brought gypsy moth egg masses from France to Medford, Massachusetts. His intention was to breed the gypsy moth, Porthetria dispar. With the silkworm to overcome a wilt disease of the silkworm. He placed the egg masses on a window ledge, and evidently the wind blew them away. About ten years later these caterpillars were numerous on trees in that vicinity. And in twenty years, trees in eastern Massachusetts were being defoliated. In 1911, a contaminated plant shipment from Holland also introduced the gypsy moth to Massachusetts. Gypsy moths are now found throughout the entire northeastern United States and portions of Virginia. North Carolina, Ohio, and Michigan The gypsy moth lays its eggs on the leaves of oaks, birches, maples, and other hardwood trees. When the yellow hairy caterpillars hatch from the eggs, they devour the leaves in such quantities that the tree becomes temporarily defoliated. Sometimes this causes the tree to die. The caterpillars grow from 0.5 inch, 3 millimeters, to about 2 inches, 5.1 centimeters. Before they spin a pupa, in which they will metamorphose into adult moths. What is the most popular state insect? The honeybee is by far the most popular state insect, having been selected by 17 states, Arkansas, Georgia, Kansas, Louisiana, Maine, Mississippi, Missouri, Nebraska, New Jersey, North Carolina, Oklahoma, South Dakota, Utah, nicknamed the Beehive State, Tennessee, Vermont, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. What is the most popular state insect? The honeybee is by far the most popular state insect, having been selected by 17 states, Arkansas, Georgia, Kansas, Louisiana, Maine, Mississippi, Missouri, Nebraska, New Jersey, North Carolina, Oklahoma, South Dakota, Utah, nicknamed the Beehive State, Tennessee, Vermont, West Virginia, and Wisconsin.
Are there any natural predators of gypsy moth caterpillars? About 45 kinds of birds, squirrels, chipmunks, and white-footed mice eat this cereus. Insect Pest Among the 13 imported natural enemies of the moth, two flies, Compis luricincinata. Attachnid fly, and Sternius cutellata, parasitize the caterpillar. Other parasites and various wasps have also been tried as controls. As well as spraying and male sterilization. Are there any natural predators of gypsy moth caterpillars? About 45 kinds of birds, squirrels, chipmunks, and white-footed mice eat this cereus. Insect Pest Among the 13 imported natural enemies of the moth, two flies, Compis luricincinata. Attachnid fly, and Sternius cutellata, parasitize the caterpillar. Other parasites and various wasps have also been tried as controls. As well as spraying and male sterilization. How numerous are roundworms? Roundworms, or nematodes, are members of the phylum nematoda, from the Greek term nematos, meaning thread, and are numerous in two respects. 1. Number of known and potential species, and 2. The total number of these organisms in a habitat. Approximately 12,000 species of nematodes have been named but it has been estimated that if all species were known, the number would be closer to 500. 000 nematodes live in a variety of habitats ranging from the sea to soil. 6 cubic inches, 100 cubic centimeters, of soil may contain several thousand nematodes. A square yard, 0.85 square meter, of woodland or agricultural soil may contain several million of them. Good topsoil may contain billions of nematodes per acre. Which is stronger steel or the silk from a spider's web? Spider silk is stronger. Well known for its strength and elasticity, the strongest spider silk has tensile strength. Second only to fused quartz fibers and five times greater than that of steel of equivalent weight. Tensile strength is the longitudinal stress that a substance can bear without tearing apart. What is the most famous roundworm? One soil nematode, Sonorabditus elegans, is widely cultured and has become a model research organism in developmental biology. The study of this animal was begun in 1963 by Sidney Brenner. 1927 who received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 2002 the species 
normally lives in soil but is easily grown in the laboratory in petri dishes. It is only about 0.06 inch, 1.5 millimeters, long, has a simple, transparent body consisting of only 959 cells. And grows from zygote to mature adult in only three and a half days. The genome, genetic material, of C. Elegans, consisting of 14,000 genes, was the first animal genome to be completely mapped and sequenced. The small transparent body of this nematode allows researchers to locate cells in which a specific developmentally important gene is active. These cells show up as bright green spots in a photograph because they have been genetically engineered to produce a green fluorescent protein known as GFP. The complete wiring diagram of its nervous system is known. Including all the neurons and all connections between them. Much of the knowledge of nematode genetics and development gained from the study of C. Elegans is transferable to the study of other animals. What are the major groups of segmented worms? Members of the phylum Anlida, the segmented worms have bilateral symmetry and a tubular body that may have 100 to 175 ring-like segments. The three classes of segmented worms are, 1, polychaeta, the sandworms, and tube worms. 2, oligochaeta, the earthworms, and 3, hirudinia, the leeches. What is E. cabana? Ikebana is the Japanese expression for the arrangement of living material in water. It is the ancient Japanese art of flower arrangement. Ikebana follows certain ancient rules that aim at achieving perfect harmony, beauty, and balance. Some describe Ikebana as sculpture with flowers. In Japan it has been practiced for 1,400 years. Buddhist monks in the 6th century practiced the art using pebbles, rock, and wood with plants and flowers. In Japan Ikebana was evolved and practiced exclusively by men priests first, then warriors and noblemen. Today, of course, Ikebana is practiced by millions of women as well as men. Although the great flower schools in Japan are mostly headed by men. How is the light in fireflies produced? The light produced by fireflies, fought inus pyroles, or lightning bugs, is a kind of heatless light called bioluminescence. It is caused by a chemical reaction in which the substance luciferin undergoes oxidation when the enzyme luciferase is present. The flash is a photon of visible light that radiates when the oxidating chemicals produce a high energy state, which then revert back to their normal state. 
The flashing is controlled by the nervous system and takes place in special cells called photocytes. The nervous system, photocytes, and the tracheal end organs control the flashing rate. The air temperature also seems to be correlated with the flashing rate. The higher the temperature, the shorter the interval between flashes 8 seconds at 65 degrees Fahrenheit. 18.3 degrees Celsius, and 4 seconds at 82 degrees Fahrenheit 27.7 degrees Celsius. Scientists are uncertain as to why this flashing occurs. The rhythmic flashes could be a means of attracting prey or enabling mating fireflies to signal in heliographic codes. That differ from one species to another, or they could serve as a warning signal. Which insect has the best sense of smell? Giant male silk moths may have the best sense of smell in the world. They can smell a female's perfume nearly 7 miles, 11 kilometers, away. Who introduced the gypsy moth into the United States? In 1869, Professor Leopold Trevelyan. 1827 to 1895, brought gypsy moth egg masses from France to Medford, Massachusetts. His intention was to breed the gypsy moth, Porthetria dispar. With the silkworm to overcome a wilt disease of the silkworm. He placed the egg masses on a window ledge, and evidently the wind blew them away. About ten years later these caterpillars were numerous on trees in that vicinity. And in twenty years, trees in eastern Massachusetts were being defoliated. In 1911, a contaminated plant shipment from Holland also introduced the gypsy moth to Massachusetts. Gypsy moths are now found throughout the entire northeastern United States and portions of Virginia. North Carolina, Ohio, and Michigan. The gypsy moth lays its eggs on the leaves of oaks, birches, maples, and other hardwood trees. When the yellow hairy caterpillars hatch from the eggs. They devour the leaves in such quantities that the tree becomes temporarily defoliated. Sometimes this causes the tree to die. The caterpillars grow from 0.5 inch, 3 millimeters, to about 2 inches, 5.1 centimeters. Before they spin a pupa, in which they will metamorphose into adult moths. What are the major groups of mollusks? There are four major groups of mollusks, 1, chitons, 2, gastropods, which includes nails, slugs, and nudibranchs, 3, bivalves, which include clams oysters, and mussels, and four, cephalopods, which include squids and octopods. Although mollusks vary widely in external appearance, most share the following body plan, 1, a muscular foot, usually used for movement, 
2, a visceral mass containing most of the internal organs. And 3, a mantle fold of tissue that drapes over the visceral mass and secretes a shell, in organisms that have a shell. What is a bug, biologically speaking? The biological meaning of the word bug is significantly more restrictive than in common usage. People often refer to all insects as bugs, even using the word to include such organisms as bacteria and viruses as well as glitches in computer programs. In the strictest biological sense, a bug is a member of the order Hemiptera, also called true bugs. Members of Hemiptera include bed bugs, squash bugs, clinch bugs, stink bugs, and water striders. What gives coral their colors? Coral have a symbiotic relationship with zooxanthellae. Zooxanthellae are photosynthetic dinoflagellates, one cellate animals, that give coral their characteristic colors of pink, purple, and green. Coral that have expelled the zooxanthellae appear white. Why are leeches important in the field of medicine? Leeches have been used in the practice of medicine since ancient times. During the 1800s leeches were widely used for bloodletting because of the mistaken idea that body disorders and fevers were caused by an excess of blood. Leech collecting and culture were practiced on a commercial scale during this time. William Wadsworth's, 1770-1850, poem The Leech Gatherer was based on this use of leeches. The Medical Leech, Hirudo Medicinalis is used to remove blood that has accumulated within tissues as a result of injury or disease. Leeches have also been applied to fingers or toes that have been surgically reattached to the body. The sucking by the leech unclogs small blood vessels, permitting blood to flow normally again through the body part. The leech releases hirudin, secreted by the salivary glands which is an anticoagulant that prevents blood from clotting and dissolves pre-existing clots other salivary ingredients dilate blood vessels and act as an anesthetic a medicinal leech can absorb as much as five to ten times its body weight in blood Complete digestion of this blood takes a long time. And these leeches feed only once or twice a year in this manner. What are some beneficial insects? Beneficial insects include bees, wasps, flies, butterflies, moths, and others that pollinate plants. Many fruits and vegetables depend on insect pollinators for the production of seeds. Insects are an important source of food for birds, fish, and many animals. 
In some countries such insects as termites, caterpillars, ants, and bees are eaten as food by people. Products derived from insects include honey and beeswax, shellac, and silk. Some predators such as mantises, ladybugs, or lady beetles, and lacewings feed on other harmful insects. Other helpful insects are parasites that live on or in the body of harmful insects. For example, some wasps lay their eggs in caterpillars that damage tomato plants. Are there any natural predators of gypsy moth caterpillars? About 45 kinds of birds, squirrels, chipmunks, and white-footed mice eat this cereus. Insect Pest Among the 13 imported natural enemies of the moth, two flies, Compis luricincinata. Attachnid fly, and Sternius cutellata, parasitize the caterpillar. Other parasites and various wasps have also been tried as controls. As well as spraying and male sterilization. What is the largest group of insects that has been identified and classified? The largest group of insects that has been identified and classified is the order Coleoptera. Beetles, weevils, and fireflies, with some 350,000 to 400,000 species. Beetles are the dominant form of life on Earth, as one of every five living species is a beetle. What are the essential nutrient elements required for plant growth? Essential nutrients are chemical elements that are necessary for plant growth. An element is essential for plant growth when, 1, it is required for a plant to complete its life cycle. To produce viable seeds, 2, it is part of a molecule or component of the plant that is itself essential to the plant, such as the magnesium in the chlorophyll molecule and the plant displays symptoms of deficiency in the absence of the element. Essential nutrients are also referred to as essential minerals and essential inorganic nutrients. What are the macronutrients and micronutrients of plants? The macronutrients of plants are carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, potassium, calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, and sulfur. These all are nearly or in some cases far greater than 1% of the dry weight of a plant. The micronutrients are iron, chlorine, copper, manganese, zinc, molybdenum, and boron. Each of the micronutrients constitutes less than one to several hundred parts per million in plants. Sodium, silicon, cobalt, and selenium are beneficial elements. Research has not shown that these elements are essential for plant growth and development. What is the largest leech?
most leeches are between 0.75 inch and 2 inches, 2 and 6 centimeters. In length, but some medicinal leeches reach 8 inches, 20 centimeters. The giant of all leeches is the Amazonian Hemantherium galanii, from the Greek term Hymateros. Meaning bloody, which reaches 12 inches, 30 centimeters, in length. What is hydroponics? This term refers to growing plants in some medium other than soil, the inorganic plant nutrients. Such as potassium, sulfur, magnesium, and nitrogen, are continuously supplied to the plants in solution. Hydroponics is mostly used in areas where there is little soil or unsuitable soil. Since it allows precise control of nutrient levels and oxygenation of the roots. It is often used to grow plants used for research purposes. Julius von Sachs, 1832-1897, a researcher in plant nutrition, pioneered modern hydroponics. Research plants have been grown in solution culture since the mid-1800s. William Garrick, 1882-1970, a scientist at the University of California. Defined the word hydroponics in 1937. In the 50 years that hydroponics has been used on a commercial basis, it has been adapted to many situations. NASA will be using hydroponics in the space station for crop production and to recycle carbon dioxide into oxygen. Although successful for research, hydroponics has many limitations and may prove frustrating for the amateur gardener. What does pH mean when applied to soil? Literally, pH stands for potential of hydrogen and is the term used by soil scientists to represent the hydrogen ion concentration in a soil sample. The relative alkalinity acidity is commonly expressed in terms of the symbol pH. The neutral point in the scale is 7, soil testing below 7 is said to be acidic. Soil testing above pH 7 is alkaline. The pH values are based on logarithms with a base of 10. Thus, a soil testing pH 5 is 10 times as acidic as soil testing pH 5. While a soil testing pH 4 is 100 times as acidic as soil testing pH 6. Is coral bleaching related to changes in the environment? Although corals can capture prey, many tropical species are dependent on photosynthetic algae, zooxanthellae, for nutrition. These algae live within the cells that line the digestive cavity of the coral. The symbiotic relationship between coral and zooxanthellae is mutually beneficial. The algae provide the coral with oxygen and carbon and nitrogen compounds. The coral supplies the algae with ammonia, waste product. 
from which the algae make nitrogenous compounds for both partners. Coral bleaching is the stress-induced loss of zooxanthellae that live in coral cells. In coral bleaching the algae lose their pigmentation or are expelled from coral cells. Without the algae, coral become malnourished and die. The causes of coral bleaching are not completely understood. But it is believed that environmental factors are involved. Pollution, invasive bacteria such as Vibrio, salinity changes, temperature changes. And high concentrations of ultraviolet radiation. Associated with the destruction of the ozone layer, all contribute to coral bleaching. What is the function of various plant nutrients? Macronutrients carbon, major component of organic molecules, oxygen, major component of organic molecules. Hydrogen, major component of organic molecules, nitrogen, component of amino acids, proteins, nucleotides. Nucleic acids, chlorophyll, coenzymes potassium, component of enzymes, protein synthesis. Operation of stomata calcium, component of cell walls, maintenance of membrane structure and permeability, activates some enzymes. Magnesium, component of chlorophyll molecule, activates many enzymes, phosphorus, component of ADP and ADP. Nucleic acids, phospholipids, several coenzymes, sulfur, components of some amino acids and proteins. Coenzyme A, chlorine, osmosis and ionic balance, iron, chlorophyll synthesis, cytochromes, nitrogenase. What do the numbers on a bag of fertilizer indicate? The three numbers, such as 15-20-15, refer to the percentages by weight of macronutrients found in the fertilizer. The first number stands for nitrogen, the second for phosphorus, and the third for potassium. In order to determine the actual amount of each element in the fertilizer, multiply the percentage by the fertilizer's total weight in pounds. For example, in a 50-pound bag of 15-20-15, there are 7.5 pounds of nitrogen. 10 pounds of phosphorus, and 7.5 pounds of potassium. The remaining pounds are filler. The venom of the brown recluse is hemolytic and causes do male mosquitoes bite humans? No. Male mosquitoes live on plant juices, sugary saps, and liquids arising from decomposition. They do not have a biting mouth that can penetrate human skin as female mosquitoes do. In some species the females, who lay as many as 200 eggs, need blood to lay their eggs. These are the species that bite humans and other animals.
What first aid measures can be used for a bite by a black widow spider? The black widow spider, Latrodectus mactans, is common throughout the United States. Its bite is severely poisonous, but no first aid measures are of value. Age, body size, and degree of sensitivity determine the severity of symptoms. Which include an initial pinprick with a dull numbing pain, followed by swelling. An ice cube may be placed over the bite to relieve pain. Between 10 and 40 minutes after the bite, severe abdominal pain and rigidity of stomach muscles develop. Muscle spasms in the extremities, ascending paralysis. And difficulty in swallowing and breathing may follow. The mortality rate is less than 1% but anyone who has been bitten should see a doctor. The elderly, infants, and those with allergies are most at risk and may require hospitalization. What are the most common tapeworm infections in humans? Tapeworms, members of the class Cestida, have long flat bodies in which there is a linear series of sets of reproductive organs. Each set or segment is called a proglottid. Which trees are members of the rose family, Rosaceae? The apple, pear, peach, cherry, plum, mountain ash, and hawthorn trees are members of the Rosaceae family. What is the most popular state insect? The honeybee is by far the most popular state insect, having been selected by 17 states, Arkansas, Georgia, Kansas, Louisiana, Maine, Mississippi, Missouri, Nebraska, New Jersey, North Carolina, Oklahoma, South Dakota, Utah, nicknamed the Beehive State, Tennessee, Vermont, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. What three groups are included in the flapworms? Flatworms belong to the phylum Platyhelminthes. They are flat, elongated, achylomate animals that exhibit bilateral symmetry and have primitive organs. The members of the flatworms are 1. Planar eons, 2. Flukes, and 3. Tapeworms. What is the composition of synthetic soil? Synthetic soil is composed of a variety of organic and inorganic materials. Inorganic substances used include pumice, calcin at clay, cinders, vermiculite, perlite, and sand. Vermiculite and perlite are used for water retention and drainage. Organic materials used include wood residues, manure, sphagnum moss, plant residues, and peat.
Sphagnum peat moss is also helpful for moisture retention and lowers the pH of the mixture. Lime may be added to offset the acidity of peat. Synthetic soil may also be referred to as growing medium, soil mixes, potting mixture. Plant substrate, greenhouse soil, potting soil, and amended soil. Most synthetic soils are deficient in important mineral nutrients, which can be added during the mixing process or with water. How fast does a snail move? Many snails move at a speed of less than 3 inches, 8 centimeters, per minute. This means that if a snail did not stop to rest or eat, it could travel 16 feet, 4.8 meters, per hour. What is the most destructive insect in the world? The most destructive insect is the desert locust, Schistosura gregaria. The locust of the Bible, whose habitat ranges from the dry and semi-arid regions of Africa and the Middle East, through Pakistan and northern India. This shorthorn grasshopper can eat its own weight in food a day. And during long migratory flights a large swarm can consume 20,000 tons, 18,144,000 kilograms, of grain and vegetation a day. In what ways are earthworms beneficial? Earthworms help maintain fertile soil. An earthworm literally eats its way through soil and decaying vegetation. As it moves about, the soil is turned, aerated, and enriched by nitrogenous wastes. Charles Darwin, 1809 to 1882, calculated that a single earthworm could eat its own weight in soil every day. Much of what is eaten is then excreted on Earth's surface in the form of casts. The worms then rebury these casts with their burrowing process. In addition, Darwin claimed that 2.5 acres, 1 hectare, of soil might contain 155,000 earthworms, which in one year would bring 18 tons of soil to the surface and in 20 years might build a new layer 3 inches, 11 centimeters, thick. What is the best soil pH for growing plants? Nutrients such as phosphorus, calcium, potassium, and magnesium are most available to plants when the soil pH is between 6.0 and 7.5. Under highly acidic, low pH, conditions. These nutrients become insoluble and relatively unavailable for uptake by plants. However, some plants, such as rhododendrons, grow better in acidic soils. High soil pH can also decrease the availability of nutrients. If the soil is more alkaline than pH 8, Phosphorus, 
iron, and many trace elements become insoluble and unavailable for plant uptake. What was a victory garden? During World War II, U. As Secretary of Agriculture Claude R. Wickard, 1893-1967, encouraged homeowners to plant vegetable gardens wherever they could find space. Everyone believed that the produce from such gardens would help lower the price of vegetables needed by the U.S. War Department to feed the troops, thus saving money that could be spent elsewhere on the military. In addition to indirectly aiding the war effort, these gardens were also considered a civil morale booster individual gardeners could feel empowered. By their contribution of labor and rewarded by the produce that was grown. This made Victory Gardens a part of the daily life on the home front. By 1945 there were said to be 20 million Victory Gardens producing. About 40% of all American vegetables in many unused scraps of land. Such sites as the strip between a sidewalk and a street, town squares, and the land around Chicago's Cook County Jail were used. The term Victory Garden derives from an English book by that title written by Richard Gardner in 1603. Is there a quick and easy way to test for soil acidity or alkalinity? Some gardeners make a simple taste and smell test to check the soil. Acid soil smells and tastes sour. Some put a soil sample in a jar of vinegar. If the vinegar starts to bubble, your soil has plenty of lime. If there are no bubbles, lime the soil with 4 ounces. 113 grams of lime for every square yard, 0.84 square meter. How does a butterfly differ from a moth? While these guidelines generally hold true, there are exceptions. Moths have hairy bodies, and most have tiny hooks or bristles linking the forewing to the hindwing. Butterflies do not have either characteristic. How does a butterfly differ from a moth? While these guidelines generally hold true, there are exceptions. Moths have hairy bodies, and most have tiny hooks or bristles linking the forewing to the hindwing. Butterflies do not have either characteristic. Do butterflies see color? Butterflies have highly developed sensory capabilities. They have the widest visual spectrum of any animal and are able to see from the red end of the spectrum all the way to near ultraviolet.
they are therefore able to distinguish colors that humans are unable to see. Do butterflies see color? Butterflies have highly developed sensory capabilities. They have the widest visual spectrum of any animal and are able to see from the red end of the spectrum all the way to near ultraviolet. They are therefore able to distinguish colors that humans are unable to see. Has the United States selected a national insect? No, the United States does not have a national insect. Congress did consider naming the monarch butterfly as the national insect. But the legislation did not pass. Has the United States selected a national insect? No, the United States does not have a national insect. Congress did consider naming the monarch butterfly as the national insect. But the legislation did not pass. How many bees are in a bee colony? On average, a bee colony contains from 50,000 to 70,000 bees, which produce a harvest of from 60 to 100 pounds, 27 to 45 kilograms, of honey per year. A little more than one third of the honey produced by the bees is retained in the hive to sustain the population. How many bees are in a bee colony? On average, a bee colony contains from 50,000 to 70,000 bees, which produce a harvest of from 60 to 100 pounds, 27 to 45 kilograms, of honey per year. A little more than one third of the honey produced by the bees is retained in the hive to sustain the population. How many flowers need to be tapped for bees to gather enough nectar to produce one pound of honey? Bees must gather 4 pounds, 1.8 grams, of nectar, which requires the bees to tap about 2 million flowers, in order to produce 1 pound, 454 grams, of honey. The honey is gathered by worker bees, whose lifespan is 3 to 6 weeks. Long enough to collect about a teaspoon of nectar. How many flowers need to be tapped for bees to gather enough nectar to produce one pound of honey? Bees must gather four pounds, 
1.8 grams, of nectar. Which requires the bees to tap about 2 million flowers, in order to produce 1 pound, 454 grams, of honey. The honey is gathered by worker bees, whose lifespan is 3 to 6 weeks. Long enough to collect about a teaspoon of nectar. Who discovered the dance of the bees? In 1943, Carl von Frisch, 1886-1982, published his study on the dance of the bees. It is a precise pattern of movements performed by returning forager, worker. Honeybees in order to communicate the direction and distance of a food source to the other workers in the hive. The dance is performed on the vertical surface of the hive and two kinds of dances have been recognized. The round dance, performed when food is nearby, and the waggle dance, done when food is farther away. Who discovered the dance of the bees? In 1943, Carl von Frisch, 1886-1982, published his study on the dance of the bees. It is a precise pattern of movements performed by returning forager, worker. Honeybees in order to communicate the direction and distance of a food source to the other workers in the hive. The dance is performed on the vertical surface of the hive and two kinds of dances have been recognized. The round dance, performed when food is nearby, and the waggle dance, done when food is farther away. What are killer bees? Africanized honeybees the term entomologists prefer rather than killer bees are a hybrid originating in Brazil. Where African honeybees were imported in 1956. The breeders. Hoping to produce a bee better suited to producing more honey in the tropics. Instead found that African bees soon hybridized with and mostly displaced the familiar European honeybees. Although they produce more honey, Africanized honeybees, Apis mellifer scutellata, also are more dangerous than European bees because they attack intruders in greater numbers. Since their introduction, they have been responsible for approximately 1,000 human deaths. In addition to such safety issues, Concern is growing regarding the effect of possible hybridization on the U.S. beekeeping industry. In October 1990, the bees crossed the Mexican border into the United States. They reached Arizona in 1993. In 1996, six years after their arrival in the United States, Africanized honeybees could be found in parts of Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, and California. As of 2009, Africanized honeybees are also found in Nevada, Utah, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Louisiana. Their migration northward has slowed partially because they are a tropical insect and cannot live in colder climates. Experts have suggested two possible ways of limiting the spread of the Africanized honeybees. 
The first is drone flooding, a process by which large numbers of European drones are kept in areas where commercially reared European queen bees mate, thereby ensuring that only limited mating occurs between Africanized drones and European queens. The second method is frequent requeening, in which a beekeeper replaces a colony's queen with one of his or her own choosing. The beekeeper can then be assured that the queens are European and that they have already mated with European drones. What are killer bees? Africanized honeybees the term entomologists prefer rather than killer bees are a hybrid originating in Brazil. Where African honeybees were imported in 1956. The breeders. Hoping to produce a bee better suited to producing more honey in the tropics. Instead found that African bees soon hybridized with and mostly displaced the familiar European honeybees. Although they produce more honey, Africanized honeybees, Apis mellifer scutellata, also are more dangerous than European bees because they attack intruders in greater numbers. Since their introduction, they have been responsible for approximately 1,000 human deaths. In addition to such safety issues, Concern is growing regarding the effect of possible hybridization on the U.S. beekeeping industry. In October 1990, the bees crossed the Mexican border into the United States. They reached Arizona in 1993. In 1996, six years after their arrival in the United States, Africanized honeybees could be found in parts of Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, and California. As of 2009, Africanized honeybees are also found in Nevada, Utah, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Louisiana. Their migration northward has slowed partially because they are a tropical insect and cannot live in colder climates. Experts have suggested two possible ways of limiting the spread of the Africanized honeybees. The first is drone flooding, a process by which large numbers of European drones are kept in areas where commercially reared European queen bees mate, thereby ensuring that only limited mating occurs between Africanized drones and European queens. The second method is frequent requeening, in which a beekeeper replaces a colony's queen with one of his or her own choosing. The beekeeper can then be assured that the queens are European and that they have already mated with European drones. How do fleas jump so far? He jumping power of fleas comes both from strong leg muscles and from pads of a rubber-like protein called resilin. The resilin is located above the flea's hind legs. To jump, the flea crouches, squeezing the resilin, and then it relaxes certain muscles. Stored energy from the resilin works like a spring, launching the flea. A flea can jump well both vertically and horizontally. Some species can jump 150 times their own length. 
To match that record, a human would have to spring over the length of two and a quarter football fields or the height of a 100-story building in a single bound. The common flea, Pulex irritans, has been known to jump 13 inches. 33 centimeters, in length and 7.25 inches, 18.4 centimeters, in height. How do fleas jump so far? He jumping power of fleas comes both from strong leg muscles and from pads of a rubber-like protein called rhizylin. The rhizylin is located above the flea's hind legs. To jump, the flea crouches, squeezing the rhizylin, and then it relaxes certain muscles. Stored energy from the rhizylin works like a spring, launching the flea. A flea can jump well both vertically and horizontally. Some species can jump 150 times their own length. To match that record, a human would have to spring over the length of two and a quarter football fields or the height of a 100-story building in a single bound. The common flea, Pulex irritans, has been known to jump 13 inches 33 centimeters in length and 7.25 inches 18.4 centimeters in height how much weight can an ant carry Ants are the super weight lifters of the animal kingdom. They are strong in relation to their size and can carry objects 10 to 20 times. Their own weight some species can carry objects up to 50 times their own weight. Ants are able to carry these objects great distances and even climb trees while carrying them. This is comparable to a 100-pound person picking up a small car. Carrying it 7 to 8 miles on his back and then climbing the tallest mountain while still carrying the car. How much weight can an ant carry? Ants are the super weight lifters of the animal kingdom. They are strong in relation to their size and can carry objects 10 to 20 times. Their own weight some species can carry objects up to 50 times their own weight. Ants are able to carry these objects great distances and even climb trees while carrying them. This is comparable to a 100-pound person picking up a small car. Carrying it 7 to 8 miles on his back and then climbing the tallest mountain while still carrying the car. How has flight contributed to the success of insects? Flight is one key to the great success of insects. An animal that can fly can escape many predators, find food, and mates. And disperse to new habitats much faster than an animal that must crawl about on the ground.
How has flight contributed to the success of insects? Flight is one key to the great success of insects. An animal that can fly can escape many predators, find food, and mates. And disperse to new habitats much faster than an animal that must crawl about on the ground. Why do some biologists consider the insects the most successful group of animals? With more than one million described species, and perhaps millions more not yet identified. Class Insecta is the most successful group of animals on Earth in terms of diversity. Geographic distribution, number of species, and number of individuals. More species of insects have been identified than of all other groups of animals combined. What insects lack in size, they make up for in sheer numbers. If we could weigh all the insects in the world, their weight would exceed that of all the remaining terrestrial animals. About 200 million insects are alive at any one time for each human. Why do some biologists consider the insects the most successful group of animals? With more than one million described species, and perhaps millions more not yet identified. Class Insecta is the most successful group of animals on Earth in terms of diversity. Geographic distribution, number of species, and number of individuals. More species of insects have been identified than of all other groups of animals combined. What insects lack in size, they make up for in sheer numbers. If we could weigh all the insects in the world, their weight would exceed that of all the remaining terrestrial animals. About 200 million insects are alive at any one time for each human.